Friday, everybody. So it's a super dreary, wet, rainy Friday outside here, but we're going to try to boost your spirits with some hymns. So we'll play and I'll give as many requests as I possibly can. And Josh is behind the camera and he'll tell me what you guys want to hear. And the kids are somewhere. Yes. So Emily, my sister is here and let's see. Hello, Raylan. Can you say hello? Uh, where is it? I was playing this song right here. Where is it? It was called What Grace Is This? Where is the song? I don't know. <laughs> it's that camera. She thinks I must be taught doing stories or something on my Facebook. No, look, it's that camera right there. Can you wave? Hey, good job. Can you say hello? Hello. <laughs> so y'all tell me what you want to hear and we'll do as many as we can. All right, let's play. I can't hear me. Go uh, near the cross. Okay. How about burdens are lifted at Calvary? Okay. Let's do Down From His Glory. Down From His Glory. Oh, buddy. Uh, I do not know if I have... Is that in the um, Soul Stirring? No, that's Ivory no, Palaces. I, I get I'm that confused. I'm not sure where it's at. Down From His Glory, Ever Living Story, right? Right. Okay. 
Um, I will try it by memory. I don't know that I know it by memory, but we'll see. So I need to change keys. I've done the last couple in G. Okay, let's see. That's the first solo I ever played for Josh to sing in church. And I think we had only been dating like two months and he had to sing it around Christmas at his church, which is now our church. And so I accompanied him on it, but I really haven't done it much since then. So I wasn't sure I would remember it, but I love that song. It's just beautiful. Uh, next up, let's do In the Garden. In the garden, okay. It, it's there's probably a circus going on behind me. I can't see them the whole time, but I can hear it. And then Raylan goes by on a scooter, so that yes, absolutely. So hi, do you want to say hi to everybody? Okay, he's about to have his first birthday. Can y'all believe that? Oh, and he absolutely loves to play. So he is a blast. He's not walking yet, but he gets excited about it. Yeah. You gonna say hello? Oh my. <laughs> That's not really hello, buddy. <laughs> oh my. They're so fun. So, but now you guys see why we don't do as many live sessions as we used to do. Like, they're definitely not weekly or even monthly at this point. We would like to get back to doing that. So, pray we could make that happen. But they keep us very busy and it's loads of fun. So, Asher's about to have a, his first birthday, and Raylan turned two in November, so she's, I guess she's two and a half, so, all right, in the garden. <laughs>
Okay. Ready for another one? I'm ready. Okay. To God be the glory. Okay. <laughs> Ten Thousand Angels. Okay.
I like doing all these songs about the cross this as we head into Palm Sunday and then looking forward to Easter Sunday or Resurrection Sunday. That's just amazing that he knew going into Palm Sunday where they spread the palm leaves in the streets of Jerusalem and cried Hosanna to the king. He knew what they would be crying just a few days later, crucify him. The same group. It's amazing to me. And yet he still was willing to take their place and your place and my place on Calvary. That just amazes me. I started off tonight's episode, I guess if you want to call it, with What Grace Is This, which is one of my favorite John Peterson songs. And um, the first verse says, Out from heaven's palaces, splendor-filled and bright, came the King, and He came to bring to the world new life and light. What grace is this that brought my Savior down, that made Him leave His glorious throne and crown? We knew nothing different other than just, you know, sinful mankind. We're born into it, right? But He left heaven with a throne and a crown and angels at His beck and call, and He came here for us because He loved us that much. So... If you ever doubt your worth, just look at the cross and that will show you what you are truly worth because Jesus Christ valued you more than he valued his own life. And God the Father was willing to sacrifice his son because he loved you that much. And there's nobody exempt from that. That is for everyone. So that's amazing. I'm grateful for it. All right, next up is the old rugged cross. Oh, okay, we'll stay with that same thing. Do you feel up to tackling the holy city? Oh, not without music. I don't know. Oh, how, how does it start? Last night I lay asleeping. Is that right? Sounds there came a dream so fair. It was the new Jerusalem beside the Sounds temple. Sounds like there. you've got it to me. Is that right? Oh, uh, no, I had that part. We're about to see if I have it. Oh, why not? Okay, we'll do this. Um, I just played in B flat, so we'll change keys.
condensed version. Very, very condensed. Oh my. So, and E flat is definitely not the key for that song. As I started playing it, I thought surely I could have picked one at least that I've actually played it in before, but no, no. E flat. Okay. Whew, let me redeem that with something familiar, maybe. Um, okay, we'll work on that. Why don't you... Um, just Hold on, I can't hear you. Sorry, can That's you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Uh, why don't you give everybody a brief update on things that have happened since we haven't been on here in five months. Yes, I know. We get emails and messages pretty much daily saying, do you not do them anymore? Are you alive? Where have you been? We're still updating a lot. It's just not live sessions. So like on our Instagram, we stay really active. And even on Facebook, it's just kind of more sharing our family and like our life on more of a day-to-day -day basis instead of just live sessions, which is super fun. Now, I will say I've gotten several new arrangements, like piano arrangements on the website in the last couple weeks, which has been really fun because I miss doing that and I like being able to share new arrangements with you guys. So those are there. And we actually just got restocked on both of our family albums. And we've had some churches ask if they can do like wholesale style orders for their church bookstore and things like that so if you want that like to order more of a bulk quantity instead of just paying individually on the website you can email us through the website and we'll get back to you with a quote for a wholesale rate so that's kind of nice I, I actually had a mental note to tell you guys that because we've had some churches say we want to put like 40 in the bookstore or something like that so that's a great option but um we're working on a new piano album gospel favorites it is coming soon, Lord willing. I actually made some progress on it today. And I've been doing a lot of tracks for people, like performance tracks for them to sing along to or for their albums or whatever. So a lot of custom tracks, some congregational accompaniment tracks for some churches and things like that. So it's been very busy. We're just not live as often. So lots of fun stuff. Is that a sufficient update? Am I leaving out something major? Um. Someone said that they uh, got, he has, from your website. Oh, yeah. So a good friend of ours, um, Mark Wheeler, is a great songwriter, and we have two of his songs now on the website. So I do not do custom transcription projects, but I told him I would do these two for him, and then it literally took me like a year to get them back to him. So don't my turnaround time is horrible, but... Those songs that he wrote, he has, and then a new song that he wrote just a couple years ago called More Like You are both on the website, and they're beautiful. He is a phenomenal songwriter, so he sings with his group, the Marksman Quartet, which is a gospel bluegrass group, but um, the sheet music for his songs with uh, like a lead vocal line and then piano accompaniment and chord symbols are on the website. So, All right. Yeah. Let's see. How about... Let's do In Christ Alone. Okay.
That one has the gospel from the beginning to the end in it. I like it. He lives. He lives. <laughs> Shall we gather at the river? Sure. We gather at the river where bright angel feet are. Okay, yeah. Do you know um, Worthy is the Lamb? Worthy is the Lamb? I feel like there's quite a few songs by that name, so I don't know which one it is. Worthy is the Lamb. Probably Worthy is the Lamb. Um, well, that's, I don't know if that's actually called Worthy is the Lamb. Hold on. I, if it's in a hymn, if it's the one I'm thinking of, it's probably in the Hymns of Grace. Let me see. And if it's not in this one, I'm sorry. I do not know. Worthy. Okay. Well, there is a Worthy is the Lamb in this book, page 263. So I will play it and hope that it's the one. So this is more like a chorus. A Don Wurtzen chorus from 1973. So... Let's see. I hope this is the one you're talking about. And if it's not, I'm sure this is a beautiful song. Hold on. Asher is going across. There he goes. Emily's rescuing him. Okay. So that's how my practices go these days. Like if I'm doing anything on the piano, I'm not by myself. So let's see.
for me, and I did not know where it was going from phrase to phrase, so I felt like I was kind of behind it the whole time, but um, beautiful. All the words come from Revelation 5.12, so that's a great song. So the one you started singing was the one that was requested. The worthy is the lamb, that one. Right. I, as far as I know, I only know the chorus. Oh. Holy, holy uh, is the Lord. Okay, I'll see what happens. I have no idea. So I'm not going to continue trying that one. I just need to learn it before I play it in front of everybody. So it's a great song, though, for Easter. Because he lives. Okay. Do you do you remember unworthy? Unworthy. Unworthy. Unworthy am, am I, I of the, the grace that he shed, right? Gave. That, but yes. Grace that he gave. Didn't you and I do that as a duet just a while back in church? Uh, we've sung it with the family before. I, I feel like we have sung it. Hold on. Um, Dad always I'll try it, it whenever we do it with I'll the family. I'll try it. I, th I think I can remember it. song okay 
I will let you choose our closing song. Okay. Miss Natalie. Are you giving me a list or do no, you want me to just pick off one? Off of your head. Okay. But I can help you. I, if you I know what I want to play actually already because somebody emailed me this afternoon and I believe they asked for Wonderful Peace. And if that's not the one you asked for, then please forgive me because that's what I'm ending with because I'm pretty sure that's what you emailed and asked. But I've, I've played a lot of songs this evening, so they're all starting to run together. Okay, Emily said that's her request anyway. So um, I think it's a great one to close on because it starts off with Far Away in the Depths of My Spirit Tonight rolls a melody sweeter than song. And if your heart does not have a melody that is sweeter than song in there tonight, then I'd like to point you to the direction of the author of peace, and that's Jesus Christ. And you will not find it anywhere else. Okay, I'm going to play a medley. I just added one because I was actually, I pulled my, this book out. 100 heartwarming sacred favorites right before the session started because I want to play Only Jesus Can Satisfy Your Soul, which is probably my favorite Lanny Wolf song. And it starts off with, the world will try to satisfy that longing in your soul and you may search the wide world or, but you'll be just as before. You'll never find true satisfaction until you found the Lord, for only Jesus can satisfy your soul. Only He can change your heart and make you whole. He'll give you peace you never knew, sweet love and joy in heaven too, for only Jesus can satisfy your soul. So I'll do a medley. I'll start with that one, and then I'll go into wonderful peace. And I hope you know Jesus Christ. Um, he makes life worth living, and He's a wonderful Savior. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening and weekend and hopefully we'll do this again before too long so we'll see